No kid in Sussex's house. Meg Roars as Montecito Bike Shop exposes her PR stunt through thank you note. Bike shop owner says he donated bike to poor and underprivileged children, not wealthy people who can buy one. If this is true, then no wonder we're all confused by it. Royal Reels YouTube channel believes that this is a PR stunt, which totally makes sense coming from those people. On the plus side, there are more photos of the child, so potentially more info to speculate on. The owners of a bicycle shop in Harry and Meghan's California hometown have learned that controversy follows pretty much everything that the Sussexes do or are involved in. They unexpectedly start up a kerfuffle because it publicized the fact that it received a thank you note from the royal couple after their owner hand delivered a free child's bicycle to them as a fourth birthday gift for their son, Prince Archie. The bike shop, Mad Dogs and Englishmen, shared an image of the thank you note on its Instagram Thursday. The note, dated Tuesday, wasn't handwritten by either Harry or Meghan, but was typed by an assistant writing on behalf of the Duke and Duchess. The note expressed gratitude for the thoughtful gift and lovely surprise, which has brought much joy and is most appreciated by the family. While many people were moved by the Instagram post replying, so cool, fantastic, heartwarming, and such a lovely gift, others asked why the shop publicized their gift to the Sussexes. People also expressed puzzlement that the wealthy couple needed a freebie. That's too bad your bike could not have been donated to a child who was in need, someone wrote. Now that would be fantastic. The owners of Mad Dogs and Englishmen, which is also having locations in Mill Valley and Carmel, have been left dismayed that their gift sparked controversy, describing the gift as a fun and impromptu gesture. But the thing is, controversy follows pretty much everything that the Sussexes do or are involved in nowadays. The Renegade Royals also have been at the center of previous reports that they like or even accept to receive free stuff. Now, news about Archie's bicycle gift also comes in the same week that Harry made history and ignited international debate over his testimony in a London court in his phone hacking case against the UK tabloid The Daily Mirror. Shop owner Jennifer Blevins told People that Martin, our British partner and shop co-owner, got the idea spontaneously on May 6th, which is Archie's birthday, of delivering a special birthday gift to him. That's on the same day the world was watching the coronation of Archie's grandfather, King Charles. Quote, he went and got one of our little specialized kids' bikes, they're really nice little bikes, and he's like, this one's perfect, it's got training wheels, Blevins told People. And so he went and got some birthday balloons, and he got some flowers for Megan, and a birthday card, and he said, okay, I'm gonna bike over there and take it to their house. That's what Martin did. According to Blevins, he drove up to the Sussex's estate, telling the security guard at the gate, I'm just a British business in town that wanted to give Archie a gift. After the guard ran a background check on Martin, the bike shop co-owner was allowed to leave the gift, along with the balloons, flowers, and the card. The shop first hinted that it sent the gift to a special birthday boy on its Instagram account May 7th without naming the boy. It shared a photo of the child's red bike with training wheels next to a British flag and one of the popular sidecars it sells. The caption said, Martin gifted him a new kid's bike out of their Montecito shop. We really hope he enjoys it. His little sister can ride as well when she gets a bit bigger. The shop's owners were delighted to receive the thank you note from Harry and Meghan a month later, with Blevins telling people that celebrities who live in Montecito regularly buy bicycles from them, but none of them send a thank you letter. As much as Blevins said to gift Archie was sincere, it also underscores an economic reality that benefits rich and famous people, especially in today's influencer-driven popular culture. The rich and famous often are showered with lavish gifts of designer clothing and other goods and services, usually out of the hope that it will become known that these stars are wearing or using those freebies. The owners of Mad Dogs and Englishmen also had to expect that they would garner publicity, or at least some local goodwill, by making it known that they had remembered Archie's birthday.